Okay, so I am working on my Onan Marquee 7000 generator on my RV, and I just want to try and make the video that I wish somebody had made for me. Because um, I wanted to check a couple things. I'm having an issue where um, it will run while I'm holding the start button, but it will die when I let it go, or it will run for maybe 5, 10, 15 seconds, and as soon as everything kind of smooths out with the motor, it dies. Uh, so the, it appears that the main two issues with these are the oil pressure switch and the voltage regulator. I didn't know where those were. I didn't know how to access those. Um, so let's look into that. So first off, the oil pressure switch. you got to take this front cover off. I assumed uh, that I could just take these seven bolts out and pop that cover out, but that wasn't the case. So you've got those seven, but then you also have to take this top cover loose. So there's two more up top. There's two more on the side, and then that loosens up this top cover. But as you can see, the top of this front cover has holes here for three more bolts. So once you pop this up, right on top of the motor or engine, there are two half inch bolts, and then there is one more 3 8 bolt on the side. So once you take those loose, then this cover can pop out of the way you can remove that and so what that does that gets us to the oil pressure switch which is located right here um, it's this white wire going to the switch simple thing to do uh, to test to see if it's working is just pop this wire off and get a jumper wire jumper cable I'm just using a simple cable plug this in into that clip and holding this other end to the chassis here to ground that out and that effectively bypasses that switch and if everything runs while it's bypassed you know that your switch is bad um, to replace that I'm using an inch and sixteenth deep well socket to get in there and back that out uh, it was pr super simple to do it wasn't hard to get out at all and when I pulled it out I had minimal oil leakage there was maybe a couple drops that ran down the front but it wasn't a big messy thing um, so the, and I've, I've already put it back in because this seemed to be working on mine, although I'll probably go ahead and replace that since I've got everything apart. Uh, the second thing is the voltage regulator. Now I did finally find a video from Flight Systems who make a replacement that showed the location of this. Um, and the simplest way to get this out, when you take this cover off, obviously you're going to take the, uh, the positive, uh, positive wires uh, loose from there. We'll get this cover off. You've got all these uh, connections and stuff in here, and there's a bunch of wires pushed up in this little groove. Um, so this connection is our voltage regulator. I've already kind of undone it a little bit just so I could pull it out. Um, and then on the side where it's mounted, you have two screws. You've got, and they're both T30 Torx screws. Um, and this one's easy to get to. I can get my impact in there, no problem, and get that loose. But the bottom one, not so much because there is a hole here on the uh, the frame for access but because the way it's mounted in the RV it's blocked and you can't use it so I was able to come up underneath with a 3 8 wrench and undo it from there um, because on mine I'm assuming they're all this way but mine on the bottom had this 3 8 hex head uh, it's still a t30 on the t on the face of it but was able to do it like that and get that loose and turn out Mine is in um, fairly rough shape, and so uh, I've done a little bit of testing, and I think that's the case. All the epoxy has started dripping out and making a mess inside here. Uh, so I'm going to replace that, and hopefully that will be it. But anyway, I hope this video is helpful to somebody, and uh, again, this is a video I wish somebody had made for me. So thanks for watching, and share this with others if you find it helpful.